Somersaults! A quadruple! That's only a triple rock for frames! A quadruple is... Uh... More! Right, Neutron? Right, Photon. And Tidy can't do more. But we can! <laughs> we have a solar system to destroy. And once this Negatronic Cloud is in position... It's the beginning of the end. The end? That's right, Squirt. From here to the end of the playground. You don't actually think you can beat me this time, do you? You bet I do. Oh, what are you thinking, Ace? Rip always pulls some sneaky trick every time you race. Well, I've got a little idea of my own this time. On your mark, get set, go! Here you go, something to help you do your math homework. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Ace, what are you doing? A little maneuver I call the sleep. Uh oh, too much shot, not enough sling. Whoa! Uh. Oh, playing in the sandbox. That's more your speed, anyhow. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ace. But the slingshot idea was really cool. No, it wasn't. It was a bad idea, and it didn't work. Uh, Ted, I, I gotta go. Time for me to save the solar system. All clear. Engaging board transformation. Sky pilots in the solar system can't even win a lousy skateboard race. Whew. Hope they've got the air conditioning cranked. Let us do roll call to ensure that all Planet Hero members are present. Tip for Mercury right here! You know it! You bet I'm here! Dazzle from Venus. Fired up and awaiting orders. Planet Earth? Uh, what? Stop daydreaming! Oh, oh yeah. Ace from Earth. Sorry, I, I was just thinking about this skateboard race I had. Man, I really blew it. 
See, uh, I tried this new move, but... Spare us the anecdote. Continue with the roll call. Mars is the planet, Digger is the name. Digging and excavating is my game. <laughs> Been working on that one. Guest is from Jupiter. <laughs> well, the weather today is a balmy 357 degrees Celsius with chances of scattered asteroid showers. So you better stay inside! <laughs> Sorry. Rings of the planet Saturn. Yuri here, planet Uranus. I have magnetic personality, yeah? <laughs> Colonel Toon from planet Neptune, ever flowing and ever at your service. And last, but certainly not least, hmm. Shiver from Pluto. Roll call complete. All nine, uh, eight and a half planets present. Hey, I am so a real planet. We can begin. The evil black hole once again seeks to destroy the solar system. His weapon of destruction? This cloud. Imported from the deepest reaches of the Beta Centauri galaxy. A cloud? What's it gonna do? Make it rain? It is a cloud of negatronic energy. As it moves through the planetary system, it draws power from our sun. Eventually, it will achieve critical mass and a temperature rivaling that of a dwarf sun causing a cosmological vortex of unimaginable negative mass. Ugh, that can't be good. No, it is not good. All nine planets will be sucked into the vortex. All life in our solar system will cease to exist. Your mission, as you may have surmised, is to stop this from occurring. Okay, a few questions. Or not. Well, it seems pretty clear what we need to do. Destroy that cloud. Right. Yeah. How? I have been working on building turbo shuttle spaceship for our team. Can fly us right up to cloud. Launch space torpedoes. Only one problem. Shuttle not finished yet. We can assist you with that. <clears throat> I'm afraid there's a bigger problem. Computations indicate that a negatronic cloud is impervious to torpedoes, blast rays, or any known munition in the galaxy. It will merely absorb their heat and become stronger. For every yin, there is a yang. If heat makes the cloud stronger, perhaps then cold will weaken it. Yeah, but we can't exactly dump a bucket of ice cubes into it. What we need is plutarium. It is the coldest element in the galaxy. A single crystal should suffice. Oh, you know where we can find some of this plutarium? Yes, within the core of my home planet, Pluto. But it is not easily accessible. To reach it, one must dig deep. Whew! Now you're talking my language! Okay. So we'll split into two teams. Some of us will go to Yuri's garage in Uranus, help him finish building the turbo shuttle. Oi! And the rest of us will go to Pluto to dig up some of that plutarium! Now, we get to work. Ugh, 
Everything is so greasy. Senses indicated a positive plutarium crystal located deep within the core of that mountain. Hiya! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do some digging! Ah, oh, it appears that those meddling planet heroes are seeking out the element plutarium. No doubt hoping to use it to destroy my Megatronic Cloud. What a bunch of zero gravity brains! <laughs> That'd never work! Actually, it would. Oh. That is why you three are going to Pluto. You will stop them from retrieving the Plutarium. Oh, but Pluto is so cold. I don't have my long underwear or nothing. Oh, poor Tiny. You're worried about catching a chill. <laughs> oh, you gave me a lava toe. Oof. Fail on this mission, and I'll reduce you to a collection of molten pebbles. Any other complaints? Mm? Photon? Neutron? Nope. Uh-uh. I love Pluto. I love the cold. Good for the complexion. It opens up the pores. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Now, go and destroy them. There, the plutarium that we seek. Oh, oh my! Plot it quick! No, no, my seismographic scanners indicate some external force acting upon the dwarf planet's surface. Hey! You're doing great, Tiny! Isn't he, Neutron? Yes, Photon, he is! Keep it up, Tiny. Hey, how come you're not helping? We're supervising! Oh! is blocked. I'm gonna try to blast us out of here. Fire thrusters look beautiful. Liquid nitrogen coolant tanks nearly filled. Battle pods locked and mounted. Not right. Energy cylinders go in this way. Shiny side out. You must redo. Sorry, Rings. I know how you feel. Messing up really stinks. I messed up bad on my race this morning. Oh, but I don't feel bad. I welcome what you call messing up. What are you talking about? <laughs> Mistakes and failures are great teachers. They provide the opportunity to learn and grow stronger and more capable. I never thought about it like that. 
The only ones who never fail are those who never try. Well? Mission accomplished! We buried them good. <laughs> Excellent. Now there is nothing to stop my Negatronic Cloud from destroying the solar system. Very soon now. Very soon. <laughs> Good going, kid. You can join me, Martian digging crew any time. What about the Blutarium Crystal? We didn't... It is ready. Are you sure you can fly sheep, Ace? <laughs> Piece of cake. Take two. <laughs> cloud is fast approaching the sun and gaining in intensity. Time is of the essence. Hang on, guys. We got a need for speed. Could it be that you didn't complete your mission? Hmm? Whoa. How'd they get out of that mountain? We don't get it! Oh, but you're going to! I am this close to reducing the three of you to subatomic space dust! Ah, there it is! The Negatronic Cloud! And my computations indicate it'll be reaching critical mass within uh, 12 minutes. We will now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Blutarium tip torpedo locked and loaded in launch bay four. Prepare to fire torpedo at cloud. Yeah, come on, let's do it. Time to save the solar system. Odd, my detector. <laughs> Goodness! Oh no! Black hole! That was merely an appetizer. Here comes the main course. Take a good look at what real power is, you pathetic planet heroes. Space itself bends and contorts at my command. And now, we'll destroy you. If that space rift hits us, we're gonna be toast. It won't. Hang on. We're going into a dive. To the battle pods. Photon! Neutron! Fry them!
great idea! Firing Torpedo 1! Torpedo 2! Ah, fire in Torpedo 3! Firing Torpedo 4! Zip, stop. stop! Not that one! What happened? what I do? Oh, you fired plutarium dip torpedo! Oh, uh... That's bad, right? Torpedoes? Is that the best they can do? Uh, black hole? What? Oh, no. Black hole is on ice. Planet Heroes. The Negatronic Cloud has reached critical mass and has begun to activate. The solar system hangs in the balance. The cloud must be deactivated now. Deactivated? How? We only had that one platerium crystal. Not exactly. When you work with tools and machinery, you learn one thing pretty quick. Always keep a backup! Yes! We have platerium, yes, but... No more torpedoes to launch it with. Well, maybe we don't need a torpedo. We can fly the ship right into the heart of the cloud and drop the crystal inside it. Oh, no. The ship cannot survive Negatronic Cloud. Not have enough speed to make it through without being torn apart. What we need is something faster than the ship. Something that can travel as fast as a torpedo. That would be me. By my calculations, you would need a speed of Mach 50 to attain sufficient momentum to pass through the cloud. What is maximum speed of your board? Uh, Mach 30, but I think I know how to crank up its speed. How? Just a little something I learned on the playground. I call it the slingshot. What's a playground? Okay, Gustus, hit it! Mach 25 and climb. 30. 35. Come on, really crank it, Gus. I need to get to Mach 50. Playing in the sandbox. That's more your speed anyhow. <laughs> The only ones who never fail are those who never try. It's all in the timing. Just gotta release at the right time. Mark 40. 35. Releasing now! Whoa, 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 has approximately eight seconds to emerge from the cloud before it crystallizes. And if it does crystallize, you will be trapped inside forever. Come on, kid. Get your tail out of there. There! I see him! He's all frozen! He, he needs help! On the way! Gotcha! Oh, oh, I gotcha! <laughs> okay, back to work. Thanks, Daz. It feels good. Gustus, great assist on the slingshot. Wow, baby! 
<laughs> Thank you, Ace. You were right, Rings. If you don't try, you'll never fail. But you'll also never succeed. Well, you just saved the solar system, Ace. What do you do for an encore? Funny you should ask. Okay, Squirt. You wanted a rematch? You got it. You must really like losing. Yeah, well, somehow I don't think that's gonna happen. On your mark, get set, go!